Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today in my latest video. So if you remember, I think it might have been last year or sometime last year, I brought the Bambino um, <clears throat> the Bambino clay crayons and I loved them. Let me get the book. There are the colours. You get 24. Um, let me get the book. I think we coloured in Seasons. And I'll show you the page we did together with them because they colour so beautifully. If I can find it, that is. I should have been organised, shouldn't I, people? But it gives you a chance to have a look at those beautiful colours. There's 24 of those. Who oh, do come along? There it is. <laughs> and we coloured this page. The background, obviously, is watercolour paint, but the colouring itself was done with the Bambino crayons. They loved the paper. They blended beautifully and yeah, it was just a pleasure to colour with them. So that was in Seasons by the wonderful Hannah Carlson. And we did that on the channel as a colour with me with them. And on them they've got um, little images. So this one's got a salmon. This one's got, uh, what is it? I don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like a little um, dinosaur. And then this beautiful skin colour one has got a, a bear on it. So they all had, um, we were able to identify them. And I adored them. So, can you imagine my excitement when I found these online? These are, let me put those out of the way, the pencil version of the crayons. They are still clay, they are still beautiful. So you get 24 colours in this little presentation packet. It's just, it's just card. They did come well packaged. They were sent to me from the UK, but um, if you're looking at the packet, I am assuming they are Polish. Um, I don't know why. That's just the impression I get, just by the language. Okay, so let's get into them. You do get, um, it does give you a pencil sharpener as well from because they are big pencils they are chunky pencils so can we pull this entire thing out or am I just going to make a hideous mess let's have a look oh, oh well there they go <laughs> here they are look at them so these are the pencil version I'm going to pull them all out so we can have a look of the Bambino wa uh, clay crayons there's our, our metallics now I think you get 24, the same as you do with the other ones, and I think the colours are going to match. So I'll put that here for a minute. Let's have a look. Let's take all these beauties out. So for people like me that have um, dexterity problems, you know, with um, colouring with tiny items, these were the perfect solution. Let me turn those round. Of course, I've messed up the order now, but never mind. There we are, in all their beautifulness. And in the bottom of this packet, let's pull the little tab out. I'll be putting them in a little pencil case. There is a pencil sharpener, large enough to sharpen them. That's everything, I think, in the packet. I don't think there's a swatch card, no. So let's move those to one side. So you do get a pencil sharpener, which is large enough to take them. I have my trusty M&R sharpener, which has a large hole in too. But I will give this a go. You know, you never know. And does it say Bambino? It does look. I don't know if you can pick that up. There you go. It says Bambino on it. Put that to one side. So this is the swatch card for the um, the little tiny crayons where we've got all the different animals and I've listed them as the animals so we can identify them this is the pencil itself let's pick up this dark one they are really chunky which I love so here is a Derwent blender so there you can see how big they are I think because they're children's they're meant for little hands aren't they so for for me, they're going to be perfect, but 
the Bambino um, crayons were beautiful and they are beautiful to colour with but, but really tiny and they kind of get stuck there in my hand and it, it did hurt a little bit. So yeah, this was very, very exciting to find these. All they've got, unfortunately, on them is the Bambino logo. They don't have any identifying features. So what we're going to do is take a little swatch card that I've already prepared and match the colours up. I don't think it'd be too hard. There's 24, so we're going to do it like that. And what I love about this set <coughs> is they have this colour, which was bare in the other set, um, is a beautiful Caucasian skin tone. So that's really exciting. And then the darker skin tones they do have, they're two beautiful colours. Um, so you can do different skin tones, which is really nice. And they love, like, the Hannah Carlson and the um, Maria Troll paper. So we're going to take this one and this one, because I've got a feeling that they're going to match up. So let's try sharpening them. Let me move this in a minute. I've got a little bowl here that I've been using for paint. Let's sharpen it and see what happens. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Pencil sharpener's good. So there's a winner. <laughs> okay, so let's go for it. They are, like I said, they are clay. Oh, they are just as beautiful. So they were £10 for the packet. So I am going to say that that is chick. Without a shadow of doubt, they do match. So that's really good. They do match the little animals. So then we've got this one, which is in the other set, monkey. Yeah, and they're exactly the same. This is our, our kind of ochre colour. And this is what I, one of the pencils I used to make that gold colour on those leaves. So that's monkey. Then, right, what's next? Oh, the bear colour. So this is our beautiful skin tone colour. You don't have to put any pressure down on these to get the pigment out. They're highly pigmented. It's not like um, other wax crayons, because they're not wax, they're clay. And I don't know of any other clay pencils or crayons, but I would love to know if there is any more about because they're so easy on your hands. Okay, let's do this one. Bright orange, which I think is cat in the other set. Would you look at that? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Aren't they lovely? So it was just really exciting for me to find them as a, um, as a big chunky pencil. Look at the pigment on that, isn't that lovely? So, I mean, I'm going to put the names of the other animals down. So this was like a big cat, I don't know, some kind of panther, I think, or I'm just putting it as big cat. I'm going to put the names from the other set down. But obviously, if I'm going to do a colour along, it's going to be pretty easy to, di to identify because you've got light, just orange, and then a darker orange. Light blue, medium blue, dark blue. So it would be fine to use them as a colour along. It's not going to be too confusing because there's only 24. Let's go in with this lovely red. No. The salmon colour. I'm going to try and keep my swatch card the same. They are no different to colour with than the crayons whatsoever other than a million times easier to use. I'm very impressed. And like I say, they were £10. I think that was with delivery. I will, of course, put the link down below from the website I got them from. Um, right, what's next? 
Um, this pink colour, isn't that pretty? It's got a bit of damage on that one. Can you see that? It's the only one. But it doesn't affect the pencil in any way. The cores are so chunky. Look at that. So this was one of the ones that I showed you, which was had the little dinosaur on it. Oh, they're so lovely. Okay, what's next? What's next, folks? Is this one. Look at that red. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? That's beautiful. Okay, that's what they call a rabbit in the other set. And we're going into our purples. So, it might be this one actually. Let's do this one, yeah. They match perfectly. This one might be a little bit more pigmented actually than the other crayon one. That one was the deer pen the deer crayon. Then we've got this purple. Oh, isn't that a pretty colour? This one had the camel picture on it. Let me have a look in terms of length. I want a new, this is a fairly new pencil in the Prisma line. So we're not being short sold, we're getting a good length of pencil there. Um, we've just done that one, haven't we? Have we? Yes. Okay, then we're going to go in with this one, which is our dark purple. So we're going to have what they've seemed to have done, which is really good, is they've given us a dark and light of each. So really well thought through for a little tiny set. But I think these are absolutely perfect for doing backgrounds. Because they are so smooth and easy to use. Right, there's that one, that one and that one. Just trying to see this one I think is our light blue. Yeah. So for, to colour in um, bigger spaces, because they are so smooth, you don't get that streakiness when you go over them. See what I mean? You can just get a really smooth lay down. That one was Bird. Then we're going in with our medium blue. Well, I'm writing these names down really, but just so we can do a comparison. This was kangaroo. And then the dark blue. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. Look at how that lays down. Beautiful. And that one was seal. Then we've got a... Um, sort of turquoise, so we are moving between the blues and the greens. Isn't that cool? This one was mouse. And now we've got the greens. So this is our light green, it's a lovely fresh green. have that one with a cow picture in the other set and then we've got this one is frog so our darkest green which is again a lovely green I wish they just wish they'd do a big set you know can you imagine 72 colors of these oh, it'd be incredible so that was our froggy then we've got lizard which is our light brown
again kind of ochre colour, which is really nice. Then our dark brown. And we do have a gold and a silver and a white. That's horse. Then we've got um, grey, which they've put as elephant. So a cool grey. There we go. Elephant. Okay, and we've got our black. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so it is a really good deep black. And as we lessen the pressure off, we're going to get obviously different variants of it. There we go. So it was, it's duck in the other set, but we're going to know it as black, aren't we? Okay, so then we've got gold, silver and white. Now, on the other set, they're incredible. So let's do the silver. what that's like. Is it shiny? It is actually, look at that. Look at that shine. Okay, that's silver. Let's try gold. Let's fill that up and we see if it's got um, a shiny properties like the other one. Oh, it does, yeah. Because these are clay, they're very matte. So you can actually see that how shiny those are. Isn't that cool? Really good. And then we've got our white pencil, which is, you're not going to see, but it is actually really good for blending. Let's do, um, let's take that black. I don't know if you'll see it on here, but I, I used it in the picture on the video that we did together. It works really well to blend out your colour. So let's try it. There we go. So you can really sort of make different tones. But it gives that much, much smoother appearance when you've been over with that white. Isn't that cool? So let's have a look at the original set. Let's do these side by side. Let's come out a little bit. Okay, so these are the Bambino pencils that I've just brought. And these are the Bambino original, the crayon ones. And we've got exactly the same colours, which is brilliant. So um, it's up to you really. I mean, the, the crayons are five pounds, the little ones, our little dudes here. Uh, let me see if I can find the right colour. No, of course I wouldn't be able to, would I? Let me, oh my goodness. All right, let's do this bare one. That's easy to find. So, here we are. <laughs> so this is what I'm saying. When you hold it to colour in, it, it can be quite difficult if you've got sore hands or any kind of mobility issues with them. Um, whereas the Bambino pencil, wow. They're chunky, they're lovely, they're easy to hold. There's the difference. <laughs> I'm thrilled to have them as a set. And I will be using them in lots of backgrounds. You think about um, Amazon print paper. They're going to be great on Amazon print paper. They really are. Because they're clay. And then, if you're worried about getting them smooth on certain papers, the white really blends them through. Let's try, can we go back on top? Deepen that up now. Yeah, look. So we can go back on top and darken that colour up. Oh, they're so cool. I can't wait to get using them. Anyway, folks, little video for you there. I will put the link in the description box down below. Here is what they look like. That's the packaging. 
Got our friendly little hedgehog on the front. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'll put the link down below. Like I say, they were £10. And for me, worth every single penny. Because as a dry medium, um, they'll work on any paper. Alright folks, thank you so, so much for watching. I will be back with a couple of book flip-throughs that I'm really excited about. And hopefully, if you're interested, we can put these pencils to the use and... Uh, to the use to some good use and colour a picture with them so until we meet again very very soon my lovely friends take really good care of yourselves night night